What I do, this is Poop on Man, the LP man, and today for the uh, future Pokemon Floor Sky Nuzlocke run, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, Windows layout without Photoshop or Sony Vegas. So, first thing you need to do is open up GIMP. Now, I have made a few things, but it's going to be a little bit complicated. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to work this out. So, you open up GIMP. And I already made this just a few seconds ago. The only programs you're really going to need are GIMP and uh, Virtual Dub and Paint, and Paint is optional. So first thing, like I'm going to show you what I did. So starting with Open, um, where is that? So the first thing you want to do is make a basic file called Pokemon Part. Like I call it Pokemon Party. You just make one, and my resolution I will show you using the scale button. I set my resolution to 1022 by 100. Now it depends on how you're recording, because I'm going to be recording with two different screens, so I made it like this and. Then next layer, then you just add a few more layers. You add a few boxes here and there. You can't see it because of this stupid thing. So we're going to F11 you. We're going to. No, 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 no. Um, can't close you, but yeah, you want this to be like this. Like you got, you make yourself a simple box by clicking File to click. Um, new and then you create a new layer and you make the layer about approximately a sixth I would say at most a sixth of your size of your width and with that that's where the images are going to go they're going to be going there in the future and once you're done with that you save so we have 11 out of here you save your file and then you go to paint Now paint all I had now paint you could edit your text or whatever. You could do it again too, but I but the problem with it is that you when you have to um I don't know, I just chose to use this. You can still use GIMP if you want to, but all you got but if you're using GIMP, what you need to do afterwards is choose text and select the area that you want to text in. So you select this area and type in your text and for my thing, if you could please hold real fast. So this is the finalized version of it. So what I did was you click text, and I have in my text box. I'm gonna show you an example here. This is not gonna be on here. Like I got a bunch of custom fonts. You get these off of um free fonts, like you Google free fonts or thousandfonts.com. Or if you want to look for specific po like game fonts, you search for that. So the font I've used for this is Pokemon Solid. Like it comes as a Pokemon like anime pack. You have Hollow and Solid. Also, you might end up getting Anon, which is the unknown font. And there's one more. I don't remember where that's at. Or I don't have one more. Those were the only three. So yeah, you type in there, and that's. This is going to be the main. So what you do afterwards is save as. Do not save. Because if you save, then there's going to be some problems. Because then you'll have a contradict with two files. So now we're going to open. So next up you make either edit that file or reopen the original file and create a new one, which I've already did too. As soon as I find it. Don't save. And then you do the same thing. This is for the complement version. So I have two different ones. The next step you need is after you finish your recording. So what I have here is as soon as I minimize half of these programs, God. What you need is virtual dub. And I create a test video file for this. So what you choose, like I call this B twist for some reason, I don't know why. So that's the video of my double random nuzlocke. So what you do is first you go to odd 
this is what I always do with my videos. So I go audio, full processing mode, compression to MP3 because it makes the file smaller at 128 kilobits per second. It depends on what you're doing. If you, that's all up to you. Then you go to video and you use filter. This is where the fun part begins. First, you go to add and then you click right type R, click resize, and you want to first compute the height from 43 to 69, and then in the relative percentage you change that to 200. Now your resume, and then because we're going to use a different codec, you can change it to multiples of four. That's in case you're using XBit to export your video. Click OK. Then you go back to add again, and then you go to logo. So now you choose your logo. So you choose, because um, this is also how I do my videos now. So I'll choose like party main, and what you do is make that top center, and because of the fact that it's going to cut off some of your video, you change your opacity. I choose 70% so that way it still be visible, but you don't have to worry about it blocking your video. And then you click OK afterwards. Then you click. Then you re, Then you add another logo. Now that's where your comp logo goes. So you do the same thing as the first time. You go to your um, photos, get out comp dex photos, and then set that to bottom center. So that will appear on the bottom of the screen. And then you click OK. And last but not least. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that your photos have to be the same size as the resolution. And then next, last time you go back to logo one last time. And I did not show you this, but I'm going to show you this now for the title. This is really nice. So I need to open title. Now this I've edited in GIMP. So what you do is you set up a, a simple background. Actually, I'm going to open it here too. Um, open. And there we go. Okay, so now we open that. That'll be in another window, of course, so don't save that, but here we go. So this is what I did. I choose I made it to like you want it in between the height ratio because for the videos, like you want your images for I should have explained this better. For if you're doing the main version, like for the Pokedex list, your Pokemon Party that I showed you, they have to be half, uh, less than half of your video size. So that way it won't cut off your video. So set it to like the height being 100 or something. And you do that for two. This will be in the middle. So you want it to be in between your two, like, like up to the maximum height of your video minus the the ratio the height ratio of your two photos for the comp for your Pokedex modes and then I just did fill in with a great background color then I changed it to a gradient I used gradient I tilted that down and then the shaman picture which you can always find on good old Google Chrome you use that and I just resized it and to get rid of the transparency what I use is Fuzzy select, and then what you choose is if you choose a, uh, this area, you can click delete. I'm not going to do it for this one. So I already did it. So you click delete. Like, I actually had it a little bit bigger than it was. So make it a little bit off, then delete, like, certain layers. Then afterwards, resize it to this about size. I was just spooling around. So, yeah, that's how you make it transparent. And afterwards, um, you do your text, same thing, and then you rotate the uh, whole text bar so that way it'll face 90 degrees. I chose it this way because it looks cooler. We use the same font because you have to stick with the themes, and then you just center it into the box. And after that, don't save and close you for good. And now you go to virtual dub, add in the dirt logo. The dirt logo being your title. And this one you want it to be middle right, or you can put it middle left. It depends, whichever you feel. All it has to be is in the middle. So this is this is how you do a double nuts like so. Then you change your resolution to seventy. Your opacity is seventy percent. You click OK. Last but not least, 
you go back to resize. Go back to resize. This is how I've done it. You know, if you know your original video resolution, you wouldn't have to do this. So do the same thing, but this time, so this is keep that at relative and change that to 50%. Change that to multiples of four, okay, and okay, and as your final layout, with all your Pokemon there, names will come in in the future, and then so that way you can save size. I would recommend if you use a virtual dump exhibit, it will shrink your file down very significantly. So all you gotta do is hit F7, name something random, and you save. And luckily this video is pretty short, so I'll cut back when this is finished. Now there is a warning that I forgot to mention. If you do, like I noticed it while, like, while uploading the video that it may cut off the bottom of your screen. So when you're recording, your, if you're run, recording a double Nuzlocke or maybe a triple with two different windows, I will suggest that you... Lower the resolution, lower it like when you use Camp Studio, you use fixed region and change your region lower than it, than the maximum region. Lower like about 100 pixels lower than your bottom because I noticed that it got cut off. And as for recording this game, I will be recording with two different emulators no GBA and Visual Boy Advance. To make them run on the same time, Visual Boy Advance, you have to unclick on options. Um, an emulator options you unclick pause when inactive the window that way this can run and this can run at the same time so anyways this is poop on man the LP man good night and this is not the randomness adventures